Welcome back to the Ford Tech Garage. Today we're going to continue on with our wiring project. I've got all the basics installed and now I want to get the headlight switch done. So I found my old light switch in a box and I wasn't sure if it worked but I thought let's go ahead sandblast it, paint it up and test it. If it works great. If not I can always order another one. So let's get into it. I'll show you how I restored the headlight switch and then we'll get it wired in. The first thing I wanted to do was to sandblast the switch and I just did it very lightly so I didn't damage too much. And then I sandblasted the data plate also and painted it black which means I need to scrape and sand the high spots off to get the letters to reveal themselves. And so I used a combination of that. And then when it was all said and done, I used a toothpick to touch up some of the black spots that I had damaged. And then I put a clear coat over everything and went ahead and test fit the headlight switch to see how it looked. Okay, I've got my wiring diagram here and I am going to see if I can't test the switch and we'll see how it's working. So first, let's test the headlight. And I'm looking underneath here and they embossed those labels. So I'll put that there on ground. Which one's ground? You know what, it shouldn't matter. And then we'll just touch that. Doop, and it works. Hey, hey, nice. I think we're going to be good to go with this original switch being fully restored. I continued testing all switch positions to verify that they worked. Yeah. Okay, we need to get the grommets in there. And in your grommet kit, there will be one with a larger opening. And that's going to go in this hole. And that is so that the main harness can fit through it. And then uh, it'll be a smaller hole for the secondary white harness that'll come through on this side. So I have my main body harness and this shows me all the connections that are going to go to that headlight switch. So let's go ahead and push it. I'm going to push it through first. All of this end needs to get pushed through. Yeah, I almost wonder if I should push it the other way. Well, let's try this first. One more. Okay, there we go. It can be done. So this is the smaller headlight harness here. the same way I did the other one at a time. And I'm just going to do the same thing, give myself lots of room to work with that. Okay, well basically, I'm just going to follow this chart and we'll try to get all these connected up here. Now there's this little washer on there let's see does that go that's got to go over that wire right okay I'm just gonna continue on with this so I'm trying to use a combination of both diagrams and the wiring diagram just to verify where some of this stuff goes. Okay, there's those two harnesses all wired up. And I still have my 
Uh, let's see, we have a wire for the panel, and then we have a wire that needs to run over to the circuit breaker under the dash. Okay, so it's the ignition switch to ammeter harness. This is this little red one. And I cannot find very much information on how to connect this. In the wiring diagram, it just says go to the battery. But the circuit breaker, this is a 30 amp circuit breaker that goes on the back of these uh, wiring or headlight switches. And that is in case any of this shorts out, it has an interruption. But this wire needs to go to the ammeter and to the ignition switch. And I'm just not sure which terminal it needs to go on. One of these terminals is going to be hot all the time, and the other one's going to be the interrupted one. I tried using the ohm meter to test it. I can't figure it out. I am pretty sure it's the terminal that's a little bit taller. So that's where I'm going to put it. It's, it's going to work either way. It's just a matter of, am I going to get circuit protection? And with this, this will be the final connection so that I can just go ahead and mount that headlight switch. And I shouldn't have to get back in here as long as I followed the schematic and wired everything up. I should be able to leave that switch mounted in the dash and just finish up with the rest of the wiring. I try not to scratch it. It's freshly restored. go and we got our restored data plate there ooh that looks good nice bit of clear coat over all that star lock washer Let's see if we can tighten this up without scratching everything Put a little knob on. So we got blackout marker, and for everything else, you gotta push the release button. Blackout drive light, off, stop, and headlight. All right, very excited to get some power to this thing and test that. So now I've got these pulled through, that headlight switch is mounted, and what I'm looking at is, I'm looking at the schematic that comes with the harness and it has this uh there's a six position junction block and it's showing where everything should be hooked up so i'm going to go ahead and connect these wires as the schematic shows and i'm not going to tighten all this yet no i'll tighten it last because there's a lot more connections that need to come in through here <clears throat> so let me follow this and we'll get those all hooked up So I got that in and I went ahead and added the little horn pigtail for right now. I do have the horn and it's actually getting sandblasted. Uh, it's tested and works, but it mounts right here and it kind of sits in the way of a lot of this. So I'm going to wait to get that installed. But now I need to start running this main body harness down and I'm going to connect it to the dimmer switch next and then it needs to run all underneath the Jeep. But I need to start putting in these retaining clips also. And per the chart, this is a B-size clip, and it's going to go right there and retain that harness right there. Okay, yeah, and that was a captured nut being the later style. I believe that's one of the features. Okay. Now. Okay, so we're wiring up the dimmer switch now. And looking at the side of the dimmer switch, the long tab says BAT. So I assume that's battery power. And the other two are not labeled, 
the blue and black are not labeled. And I assume that's because the switch doesn't really have a default position. It's just always toggling between the two um, high beams and low beams. So it's really just a matter of getting the uh, voltage in to the right circuit. And up there. Okay, so this is going to line up here. I need it to go into this one. So now, squeeze that. Let's get that lined up. <laughs> okay that looks good okay so while i'm fishing this i need to watch out because this is the clutch pedal and so we need to make sure this harness gets uh, behind the clutch pedal and into the correct hole there that's going to retain it from getting ripped out the second you push the clutch in so, it goes in right there. We're under here, and I've avoided this clutch linkage. The next place it needs to go is in this clip. And it's funny, because I've been wondering what that clip was for. And now I realize it is to retain the wiring harness. So, we're all clipped in, and that's going to keep it out of the clutch linkage. And out of the brake linkage and so that's that now we'll keep going back stop is going to be in this hole i need to get the clip but first i'm going to fish the harness up and over this cross member this is the cross member where they mount the the gun for the jeep so what i ended up with was running it down there's supposed to be a hole in this hat channel but i don't see it uh, I guess I could drill one and put the clip there, but it seems fairly secure as it is. And then this one here, and then there were supposed to be two more here, but I know a lot of that stuff is different between the uh, different years, so I didn't see any holes here. And then it comes behind the axle, and we had a hole there, and I had some extra hardware from, uh, I think from the grill project. And then it comes back there, and that's where it's gonna tie into our taillight wiring. And then it runs up that hole, and that's for the trailer hit uh, connector. So, for now, I think our main harness is in down here. We just need to get the taillights fixed up and go from there. All right, well, as you can see, the headlight switch is in, and I think it looks fantastic. With that out of the way, most of the wiring is done at this point. Now we're going to move on to some of the smaller projects, like the fuel gauge, the ammeter, the ignition coil, and we'll get all that wired in. So make sure to like this video if you did, and subscribe so that you don't miss the next video where we are going to continue on with our wiring project. So we'll see you in the next one.